Good evening and welcome to you all. My name is Louise Spellman and I have the privilege of being head teacher here at Conyers. Tonight is one of my favourite nights of the year as it gives me the opportunity to talk to you about one of the most special things about Conyers School, our sixth form college. Now in these Covid strange times you won't get the opportunity to tour the building, speak to students and um, get a flavour of our sixth form college but we hope that the information that we will give you tonight that Paul Webster as head of sixth form will talk you through will enable you to see that Conyers is the right choice for those of you who want to study level three programmes post 16 whether A level or B tech. Conyers Sixth Form has an outstanding reputation. We have a reputation of academic success. Over the last three years, progress has been in the top 10% of all Sixth Form schools and colleges nationally. Our pass rate has been 100%. And two thirds of students last year gained A star to B grades. Almost all of our students progressed to a university or apprenticeship of their choice. It's time for making brave decisions, decisions that will inform the rest of your life. You might be worried given all of the Covid uncertainties and the cancellation of exams, but at Conyers we are optimistic. We can help you and we will ensure you have a fantastic sixth form experience whether you choose our A-level or our B-Tech programme. I will now hand over to Paul Webster, our head of sixth form, who will explain to you why Conyers is the right choice. As the best post-16 provider in the Tees Valley, we are confident that we will give you an outstanding experience. But to take you through why Conyers in a little bit more detail, Paul Webster. Good evening everybody and welcome to Conyers Sixth Form Open Evening. I hope the following presentation provides you with the information you need and why Conyers is such a great place to study. So a special warm welcome to all our mums and dads, our Conyers students, all know, and all those students who have joined us from other schools and colleges in the local area. I must say that I have the best job in the school. Being head of sixth form is such a wonderful job to have. I work with our A-level and our B-Tech students and they are incredible people. Intelligent, perceptive, witty, hardworking, and it's such a great experience to see them join us in year 12 and flourish and leave at the end of year 13 to pursue their careers. And I hope by the end of this evening you will realise why Conyers is the best place to be. So why wouldn't you come to Conyers Sixth Form College? Let me explain why Conyers Sixth Form College is the best place to be and the best place to learn. I'm going to go through these four reasons in more detail in this presentation, but let's just identify them now. So firstly, our higher achievement and our high success rate, the excellent teaching that we have on offer here, the outstanding care and support that we give to each of our students and our rich and varied curriculum provision. I suppose the most important reason is our high academic success. Year on year, we get great A-level and B-Tech results and our reputation is known locally. So 100% pass rate, two thirds of all grades at A star A and B, recognised as being in the top 10% of all six form colleges nationally, and more than 80% of grades were all at target or above. And this is something we are incredibly proud of. This is not just down to our hard working teachers, but it is also down to our incredibly intelligent and perceptive student. And of course, why would you want to go anywhere else? with such great results. And our academic achievements were recognised nationally by the organisation ALPS, who monitor the progress of sixth form colleges. And they've put us in the top 10% nationally. I suppose ultimately, it's all down to that feeling on results day when students open their envelopes, that get in their moment, when all the hard work eventually pays off, when they can take the next step in their career. And let's all hope for our return to a normal results day very soon. These are the results, A-level results and BTEC results from colleges locally. Uh, and as you can see, Conyers School is recognised as getting above average grades, um, above some of the other providers in the area. And you might notice there's one school above us, but of course you have to pay to go there. 
So why would you want to pay to go somewhere which is going to offer you above average results? Conyers really is the best place to be in the local area. So the second reason for Conyers is the quality of our teaching. We have highly dedicated and experienced teachers who like to deliver interesting lessons. Our teachers are passionate about their subjects and really want you to do the best you possibly can. And at Conyers, teaching is not about just standing at the front and lecturing students. It is about making students take an active role in their own learning. And of course, the current lockdown showed just how vital technology is. And as we all know, the Conyers Virtual School was such a success. Thirdly, we offer outstanding pastoral care and support. At Conyers, you are not a number, okay? At Conyers, we will get to know you individually. We will look after you. We will guide you through the two years of your A-level and BTEC study. And I sometimes think in some of the local bigger colleges, with their flashy neon signs and their swanky resources, you sometimes get lost. You get lost in the vast number of students there. But we will look after you and we will make sure you reach the very best of your potential. And students who often join us from other schools and colleges always say how friendly our sixth form is and how they're made to feel so welcome. And one of my jobs is preparing students for their university application. And it's an absolutely wonderful thing to do, to see students take the next step in their life, whether it be a university course or whether it be an apprenticeship. Once again, this one-to-one -one help and support is something you will get here at Conyers Sixth Form. The fourth reason is our curriculum provision and the, the range of opportunities you get to do other things other than your A-levels and BTECs. I suppose we are a traditional Sixth Form college, but you will get opportunities for drama and music and sporting activities. And also to be a role model for younger students. Please don't be put off by the fact that you are in a sixth form attached to a school, because being a role model for the younger students can be a really, really rewarding experience. There's no surprises about the subjects we have on offer. Standard A-levels, the A-level subjects you will find in other colleges. I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that we do offer music and music technology and a range of modern language A-levels. We also offer two BTEC courses, and these are in engineering and health and social care, and these are the equivalent of three A-levels. Under normal circumstances, you would be touring the school tonight and, and speaking to teachers and finding more about these subjects, but information is available on our website. And if you require any further information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. A few photographs here to demonstrate our wide varied curriculum, the, the Three Peaks Challenge, helping out in the local care home, musical concerts, and our very, very fun-filled primary sports day, a highlight of the year. And if you're into drama and music, you will get the opportunity to take part in drama performances. And our sixth form students always take leading roles and have a wonderful time. And I think it's really important that students engage in social and political issues. We are ITV's go-to sixth form school, sixth form college, um, if they need some feedback on students. We're, we're going back here to the Brexit debate, which now seems a long time ago. But our students are very passionate about social and political issues. And we even had the local, pr the local prime minister, we even had our prime minister visit us recently. Our debating society is very strong, following on from taking an interest in political and social affairs, and we did have a debating contest with Yarm School. I'd like to say the result was a complete and utter annihilation. It wasn't a dodgy penalty or a last-minute own goal. We absolutely beat them. So no disrespect if you're from Yarm School listening to this, listening to this presentation. Um, but it's something we're very proud of. And some of our students also on this slide who have accepted places at Oxford and Cambridge. And we have a, a student this year who's just been given her offer to study at Oxford. So just let me remind you, there are entry requirements. You need five standard GCSE passes to study A-levels and four standard GCSE passes to study a BTEC. So the message out there, boys and girls, and mums and dads probably want to hear this message too, is you need to keep working and you need to keep working hard. You need to get those GCSE grades. And nobody quite knows what's going to happen yet. So keep on working hard. Okay. 
Talking about working hard, something you will hear me say quite frequently over the two years is that A-levels and BTECs are hard. A big step up from GCSE to A-level and BTEC, but we're here to provide you with support with that. And the tran transition to sixth form starts now. Really, you should all be thinking about the subjects you want to take when you enrol with us. Okay, and I, a piece of advice here, when you are choosing subjects, don't just choose the subjects that your friends are doing, choose the subjects you think you will enjoy. Play to your strengths. I always think that students are either like, either mathsy, sciencey people, or maybe humanities, arty, thinky people. So play to your strengths and think about the combinations of subjects you're doing, whether they complement each other. You may already have a clear idea of what you want to do at, at university or Conyers or beyond or for an apprenticeship, okay? If you have any questions um, about choice of subjects or courses, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Is it a college? Of course it's a college, okay? It is a sixth form college. As head of sixth form, I do not teach any years lower than year 12. So everybody who starts with us in year 11 is a fresh start for everybody. I really don't want anybody thinking you, you're coming to somebody else's school. It's not. You are starting in a new sixth form colleges where students have privileges and responsibilities. And my philosophy is that if you treat students as young adults, they behave as young adults. Of course, we have routines similar to school. So we have fortnightly assemblies and you will be in a tutor group with a tutor who will monitor your attendance and your progress. So a simple message, if you are at Conyers, why would you want to leave? Why wouldn't you want to be part of our thriving, academic, happy community? And if you are currently studying somewhere else, why wouldn't you want to join us? Why wouldn't you want to be part of our experience? So I suppose transition into our sixth form begins now. So here we are, January the 19th, at our open evening, our virtual open evening. If you are at Conyers, you will be invited to an interview within the next few weeks. The deadline for all applications is February the 12th. If you are an external student, you will be invited for an interview um, during March. Almost certainly, these interviews will be done virtually. And in GCSE results are due to be published on August the 26th. Of course, that could change, but that's the date we are currently working towards with sixth form enrolment taking place in August with lessons beginning in September, we will make sure you, will, you, will, you receive all of the relevant dates so you are ready for enrolment when it comes around. And I just want to finish with some photographs which I think beautifully capture the essence of Konya Sixth Form. And here we see some of our wonderful, hardworking, amazing students who have gone on to do incredible things at university or via an apprenticeship. And here we see very happy students, students who have enjoyed um, their experience and students who have achieved very highly. By the way, we don't wear uniform, it's Leavers Day. But these are our fantastic Conyers students and this is the Conyers experience. Thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing you all in September. Goodbye. So thank you for joining us for our virtual open evening and I hope you found the presentation very informative. If you have any questions following this evening, please visit our website www.conyers.org.uk where you can click the submit question button and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you've already signed up for this evening, please check your email where you will receive further content. If you haven't yet registered, please do so on the school website where you will receive all our marketing information. And of course, keep a look out on our Facebook page. I'd like to say um, farewell and hopefully see you all in person in September. Good evening.